Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. I like to crawl down in the basement in the, in the uh, evening and just settle in a little bit. Uh, well, we have had a lot of frolic, haven't we? It was a great day for hockey for our picks. We're going to look at that. We're going to look at the uh, picks from yesterday. And then we're going to go into our picks for tomorrow like we do every day besides sometimes the weekend. Now, if you want my weekend picks, you, you definitely won't get Sunday picks. Sometimes I get Friday night picks. We'll see. But if you want the whole weekend picks, just go to Patreon. My Patreon, it's in the link. It's in the bio. Go check it out. You can get several packages there. And uh, you get some fine frolic over there as well as making money. So that's pretty cool. And if you comment in the comment section, uh, I will offer you a Pearls of uh, uh, Patreon membership where uh, you can have a month for free. And if you do it now, you'll get the rest of this month and next month free. Also, put I have, people haven't been doing this. I don't know why. Put your parlays down there. Put a parlay down there. Tell me the odds of your parlay. And when you get parlays, you'll get, when you are correct on your parlays, you get points. If you get enough, if you make more points than anybody else, which would be anybody right now, because nobody has it, uh, you'll get another free month. So you could get almost the whole hockey season for free. Yeah. Um, what's next? Oh, okay. Yes, there was uh Repulent Gaming asked me, uh, when I do these things, do these, these, that I'm ta doing right now, am I bait? And the answer is, uh, no, no, I'm not. Right, Helen? Helen, am I bait? Do I do, uh, do I partake in drugs or of any kind, Helen? Helen is the one that, uh, she knits your, uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. So, uh, yeah, she's the Pearls of Wisdom necklace uh, that you get when you subscribe, you know, subscribe. I'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Pearlocopter to you by Melissa and Hernandez. Helen, right? No, oh, see, she's saying no. She's saying no. No, I don't. I don't partake in any mind altering substances whatsoever for this. So, there you go. Okay. That was in the comment section. By the way, whoever that was, I forgot. Refu I forgot to offer you a free uh, Patreon. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down in the comment section. Remind me, comment down there, and I'll give you free month premium package. When you go over there, take the premium package, which is the $25 package. That gives you parlays. It gives you also a parlay challenge there. And uh, they have a parlay challenge there as well. And if you win that parlay challenge, guess what? You get another free month. So money, making money, getting free months, everything. So much fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's get to uh, yesterday's pick, shall we? We'll see how we did. Mm. That's today's picks. We don't want that. And we'll go scores. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yesterday, or well, today, if you're watching it tonight, it's today. That's, uh, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is the 24th. So this is 23rds that we're looking at here. Okay, the first one didn't go so well. I had the Devils. And isn't it funny that yesterday against the Islanders, I was saying, I see a different energy with the Sabres. I think that they're going to start winning more. Uh, and all of that, now they lost to the Islanders. Then they go on a back-to-back -back against the Devils. Blackwood is in net. I thought that they were not going to go back to Allmark back-to-back because -back, that's usually not what teams do, in which case Carter Hutton would be in. And I think they know what most of us know is Carter Hutton is a poop de goaltender. And they said, they by that I mean Ralph Kruger said, we need to keep our winning rolling. Although they didn't win against the Islanders, they played very well. So he went with uh, he went with uh, Allmark again, and they happened to win. Uh, we did have the under there, 
for small pearls though. So we had large pearls. So let's say large pearls is three, small pearls is a half a unit usually. When I say small pearls, we're just playing play money stuff. It's not, I'm not really that confident, but if you feel good about it, put whatever you want. So then um, we would be down uh, two and a half pearls there. Actually, it was on the under, so it would even be a little less than that because you don't get, it's not double the money, right? So it's not quite double. I think it was 1.8 something. So um, this one we did very well. We took the penguins and we took the un under. We took penguins on medium pearls and the under. Uh, I think it was paying 210, so it was over double your money on that one. And the under, I believe, was paying two as well. So we would be like up quite a bit on that. Uh, Blackhawks versus the Jackets. I had the Blackhawks ML, which was uh, paying plus money. We got it. Also had the under for for small pearls though. So and this was for medium Blackhawks for medium. So like two pearls. That's units if you don't know pearls. I call them pearls because I'm pearl of wisdom. So uh, we're up. We're up again. Uh, Senators versus Canadians. We had Senators PL for 170, and we got it. However, we had the under for small pearls too. Uh, half a unit, up a little tiny bit on that game. Messed up on this one, and I was like conflicted. Did I want to go? I really thought the Predators were going to win this game, but I didn't think they were going to win. I thought there was a reasonable chance the Red Wings could win this because Bernier's and net, you can stop a lot. Pekka Rene is beatable at his age. I really thought it was going to be a one-goal game and the Predators would win, so I thought possible the Red Wings could win, so I went Red Wings PL. Did not get that. Had it on small pearls, though. Guess what we had on large pearls on this game, though? The under. I was so sure of the under of this game. So we're up on this play quite a bit, too. You can count the units. Here we go on another one. We, this was both small pearl play. Uh, the Oilers one was about a unit, and I had the over at small pearls. I didn't really like the game, so we just went small pearls on that. But we're still up, up again, up again, up again. It was a good day, a very good day. So that was cool. Well, if you guys played my plays, great. Uh, tell me in your in the comment section what you played yesterday, how you did. Uh, also, another thing you can do to get a little more leans and a little more stuff between 3 and 5 Eastern every weekday I do my Perlo show non-betting it's not I mean we talk about things to do with picks and stuff like that like at the end of it for the last 20 minutes all of the people in the land we all gather together and we uh, we we choose games who's going to win each game and stuff like that and then we have bragging rights and we do it the next day it's lots of fun highly recommend you go check it out got some fine frolic over there indeed so you can head over for that as well but let's go look at our games for tomorrow shall we some difficult games here boys and girls i have to say uh dallas stars florida panthers i uh, if you remember correct, remember for this game, for the first game back, Dallas hadn't played for a while. And it was basically Florida was going to be really tired. They were playing six games in four nights or something. And now they're playing seven games in, or sorry, five games, six games in four nights. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Four games in six nights. Uh, now, what are they doing? Now they play, they play Dallas, then they play Dallas again, then they play a back to back on that one. Wow. Um, let's see what they're playing. Crazy games here. As you can see, Dallas hadn't played in a long time. Uh, Florida played at Detroit, at Detroit day off. Now look at it. They had games before that too. They're playing a crap load of games. At Detroit, at Detroit, day off. Dallas. So that's three games in four nights. F 
five games or three games and three games and four nights. Five nights, six games. And no, four games and six nights. Now we're talking seven games. How come I can't do math? Six games and four nights. Seven games and five nights, boys and girls. But this is six games and four nights here. So six games and four nights is a lot of freaking hockey. Let me tell you. Problem is Dallas has looked so poopy. I don't know if I can take him either. The only thing I do know is that I'm really liking the under on this game. You got a tired Florida team uh, and a Dallas team that just seems completely out of sorts as of late. I have a feeling that Dallas can pull this out. This one here, the next day, there's no way Florida can win that game. If Dallas loses this game, they are in big, big trouble. And then they only get one day off and they got Carolina. Florida could be going through a rough stretch here. Because these, this is a stupid schedule. Um, so who am I taking? I'm really going to be small pearls here. Uh, I don't. I know that Drigger is going to be in net. Don't know for Dallas. I imagine it's going to be Hudobin, who they had a who they had a difficult time scoring against. Florida completely outshot Dallas last time. I think Dallas is going to come out a lot harder this game uh, and possibly win it. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure on this. I do know that I like the under though. I like the under five and a half at 191. T tired Florida team. Uh, now, if Dallas really gets, finally gets their legs moving and plays the way they can, they should win this game. I I'm probably leaning into Dallas in this game. But, I mean, they have been so consistent, it's very difficult. Even if they can, though, if they do, I don't think Florida is going to be able to score enough. They're going to be working too hard in their own zone. Uh, not going to have much steam on those shots. So, uh, at the very least, uh, an under. And Drigger's playing very well. So, if Dallas plays the way they can, this is like 3 nothing Dallas for that game. Okay, it doesn't get any easier, boys and girls. We're going now to the Dallas-Tampa Bay versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina versus Tampa Bay. Now, Carolina's been playing a lot of games as well. Just crazy. We keep on going back to this weekly thing. But Tampa, now Carolina, look at three games in four nights. Tomorrow's not going to be three games in four nights. But if we go back a bit, Carolina was... Look, they played two games, had a day off. Look at all the games they had here. They played four games last week. Now, they were all at home, so that helps it a little bit because you don't really have the travel. That's the thing. You don't have as much as the travel this time when you're playing this many games. But it still takes a toll, let me tell you. Uh, and then, then they have, my gosh. At Tampa Bay. Now we go to Tampa Bay, and I think they're playing three games in four nights, but they had a little more of a rest, and they're at home. Um, they played Detroit. Detroit off, yeah, three games. Oh, my gosh. It's This schedule is very difficult to get your head around this year, and it makes it difficult for capping because you got two tired teams a lot of the time. Is going to be, oh no, okay, yeah. I don't know why I was saying Carolina here. Oh, I know why. Because McElhaney could be in for Tampa. I think it's very possible that McElhaney could be in for Tampa. I think for Carolina, they're going to go with Nedeljkovic. However, Carolina, Carolina is going to give everything in this game. They're going to put it all out because they're going to have and then they're just going to pray that they can beat Tampa in this game, I think. I'm going to slightly lean to Carolina 
to beat Tampa in this game only because McElhaney is going to be in that. Not that McElhaney is a horrible goaltender, but um, like I said, I just think Carolina is really going to be pushing to win this one. Uh, next game, though, I got to go with Tampa Bay. So I'm going to go Carolina. I'm not going to go for large pearls there because I could see Tampa winning that one too. It's hard to judge how tired they're going to be in this situation. They're already playing four games and six. This is going to be five games and seven. And then they have a day off. So that's going to be six games in nine, seven, eight, nine. Six games in nine against Florida. Watch out for that game. Wow. Uh, so tired team. The question is, what am I going to go over? I'm, I think I'm going to go under six because Carolina is going to be tired. They're going to give everything they have, and then they're going to try to hold on to their lead. They're going to want to get a lead early and then hold on to their lead, which they have a team to do. And with Nedeljkovic instead of Reimer, now watch. If Reimer's in net again, all bets are off. I'm going to probably change this. And you can find out if that's the case because I will update you on that tomorrow over when you go to Patreon and you sign yourself up. So go do that. I know you're going to do that. Um, go do that. Right now. Okay, I'll wait. Not long, though, because I don't want this to go on forever. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Rangers, let's go back to our... Oh, yeah, this is an, another extremely interesting game here. Um, Rangers versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia, I mean, with these odds, you really got to go to Rangers. Mostly because, as of right now, Philadelphia's got pretty much the same lineup as they did against Boston on the outdoor game which means they're going to be playing defensemen as forwards. Uh, the, the difference is, is they got Elliott in net. Elliott's been probably the better goaltender so far this year. Um, however, so in, well, I'm saying that because there's more chance of an under on this game. What did I put down here? I got under five and a half, but um, Shesterkin's going to be in for the Rangers. Uh, I don't think the Rangers have played overly too crazy as far as the amount of games played. Um, New York Rangers. No, see, they've had rest. Yeah, I think I think the Rangers are going to win that game just simply because Philadelphia's lineup is too depleted. Now, the last time they played, which wasn't too long ago, the Flyers had a fairly depleted lineup. I think it was their first game after a long layoff from COVID, the Rangers won by like one in overtime. And uh, that was really not good. But the Rangers since then have been playing better. So I'm going to lean the Rangers for this kind of juice at 218. And it pains me to say that because I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan. But that doesn't really, or two, two bills, two, two times your money on the Rangers. I'm going to lean to the Rangers here. By tomorrow, I might even go Rangers and reg. Like, the Philadelphia lineup is so depleted right now, it's pretty hard to imagine them winning this game, really. Uh, okay, Leafs, uh, Leafs versus the Flames. The Leafs have played an ungodly amount of hockey, okay? Um, the Flames, I believe, have played a fair amount as well, but the, uh, the Leafs really... I was wondering where they were going to pooch out, and they finally lost to Calgary the last game, but they didn't look all that bad. The thing is, Hutchinson's going to be in net again because Anderson is hurt. Why? Because he's played a stupid amount of games. And so is Campbell. So I have very little faith in Calgary, honestly. I, could, I don't like the line on this really at all. I'm not big on the line. Uh, I'm not even big on this game altogether, to tell you the honest truth. If you want to see the ungodly amount of games that... that uh, Toronto has played. Calgary has played a fair amount too. Uh, but they've had a little more rest. And they're at home. But look at this. Four games in six. They played Montreal day off. I wish there was a way I didn't have to go to the top of the screen every time I wanted to move it over. Um, day off. And then a game. Then off. Then a game. That's five games and seven nights. 
boys and girls. Five games in seven nights is ridiculous. Wait, I think it could be more than let's let's I want to get a good count on this. I want to make sure that I'm giving you a good pick. One day at one, two, three, four, five, six. That's four games in six nights. Then a day off. Four games in six nights. Seven night four games in seven nights. Five games in eight nights. That's nine nights. Six games in ten seven games in ten nights. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, and Calgary's had similar. I'm going to lean the under here. Just, I don't know. Because like Riddich is going to be in there for Calgary. He's played a heck of a lot better. Because Markstrom is hurt for the same reason. Goaltenders are getting hurt because they're getting overplayed. But Riddich is way better than Hutchinson right now. So I think Calgary could get outplayed here and still win. That's the problem. I'm going to take Calgary again. I don't know. Uh, small pearls, though, because it's it's so hard to take Calgary because Toronto has, uh, like, Muzzin is hurt. That's another problem. But they got so much power up front that Calgary can't contend with, with Matthews and all of that. It's, it's a really difficult pick. Um, I'm going to lean the over now. Now that I think about it, because Calgary can just Hutchinson is so bad, Calgary can just start shooting, 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 and and pot four against him and still lose. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go the over on that. After that, this game, then they gotta they gotta okay they're oh sorry Calgary's at Toronto. This is at home, and then they gotta go to Ottawa after that. That'll be an interesting game, but we'll get to that when we get there. Uh Anaheim, Arizona. I am taking Arizona. All day. Anaheim has two of their top six out on D. Never a, what um, they this amazingly went on over. They got some lucky goals early uh, two nights ago when they played. I imagine it is going to be Gibson and uh, Kemper again. I can't imagine this going over. I'm going back to the under here. And I'm taking Arizona in regulation, which will give you about 185, somewhere around there. Minnesota, Colorado. Minnesota's played a lot of hockey. Colorado should be a little more rested. Should be a little pissed that they lost to Vegas the last game. I think they can still go with Grubauer here. I like Colorado in regulation, which is paying about 180, somewhere around there. And I like over here. Um... Colorado, Kakinen's been playing a lot. I think they're going to be going back to Kakinen here. Now, if Talbot is in, then I might go a different direction, uh, possibly. But Colorado should have their legs about them. They are at home. They have a killer lineup all the way through. Um, they're health, They're relatively healthy. I, I, I like Minnesota. I think they're going to work hard every time they play. But they've been really playing a lot of hockey. So I'm going to go. They've been playing more hockey than Colorado. They're on the road. Colorado in regulation. Over five and a half. Um, what's, the, what's the over on that uh, total? What's that pay? One, yeah, 188. One, look at that. 195 at Bet Online. That's pretty nice. Nice juice. It's probably your best. I can't see you getting better than that. Yeah. If you can go to bed online, you can get 195 on that. Uh, L.A. versus St. Louis. I'm going right back to L.A. I took L.A. last time. You're getting beautiful juice here. But this time I'm going under, and that's simply because uh, Peterson's going to be a net instead of quick, although quick played very well the last game. Um I believe they're going to go back to Bennington sooner or later. They're going, they've are they been running Bennington quite a bit. Sooner or later, they're going to have to go back to uh, their backup, who I always forget his name. Why do I always forget his name? Anyways, he's not very good. Huso, Billy Huso. Uh, he's not very good. 
Uh, then I will be leaning the over here. It was a high scoring game last time. I believe there's going to be uh, an adjustment and uh, you'll see a lower scoring game. I'm more, not so much on the total of these small pearls on the under here as I am on Los Angeles winning again. St. Louis just, they got more, they're getting, they have more injuries than they had before. Have we looked at our injury list yet? Uh, we didn't, I don't think we looked at it once. Let's look at, I'll show you the injuries for St. Louis. Uh, first of all, L.A., Jarrett, Anderson, Dolan hurts a bit, but I think they can get over that. They're healthy on D again. They got Walker back and Roy, and they're just playing a wonderful brand of hockey. It's wonderful to watch. And St. Louis is doing the exact opposite. And look, they got Gunnarsson out, Pareko, which is huge. Pareko is the huge one here. Um they're, they're having to play Falk and uh, Krug a lot. No, nothing wrong with those guys, but they don't have the size in the defensive end to really do what, you, do what St. Louis needs to do to win games often. Um, so I'm going to go uh, Schwartz is out. Robert Thomas, Bozak, they got a lot of injuries, and I just don't see them playing with their normal St. Louis flow, and I think LA's playing... Well, with it a lot. I'm not going to put as huge of pearls as I did on last time because it's hard to win against a team back to back in this league. So uh, two times in a row on the road in this league. St. Louis could win this, but I'm sticking with LA. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give. Look at, oh my gosh, I went crazy long here. I'm going to have to let you go. That's my full 42%. Talk to you tomorrow when I give you the rest of my picks. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.